Yo, what's going on guys? Preston here with X Trades, and today we're gonna to be talking about trading different time frames. What different times in a trading day have in store for you? So if you're newer to trading, um, the open is like, even in the chats, you'll see like an options chat or anything like that. It, it's really hectic just because the open at the bell, volumes and prices go crazy. There's a bunch of orders that are getting filled from either like pre pre orders or like limit orders or market orders, anything like that. That's all getting filled from the night prior. And so as all that's getting filled, the price is just trying to centralize and figure out where it wants to be because there's a seller sell orders getting filled, buy orders getting filled, all this, all this crazy stuff going on in the market. And so it could be a very profitable time, but it can also be a very, uh, how do you say, a very loss intensive time if uh, for sake uh, of not a better phrase. So yeah, so 9.30 to 10.30 Eastern Standard Time, which would be 6.30, to 7 30 pacific time i live in california so for me it'd be uh 6 30 to 7 30 but anyways the first hour of market open is typically the biggest uh trades of the day it'll be uh big swings and huge moves so if you're looking for day trades when you are a little more experienced with charting and seeing price action it's it's the place to be and it's the time to trade. Um, like I said earlier, big moves don't always go in your direction. And that's a big problem is something will open up huge on some news or say earnings. And then you think from like 930 to 945, 15 minutes in the market open, you think, oh man, like it, it's been, the stock's been going up. I mean, the ticker's been climbing everything's looking good and then out of nowhere profit taking happens or any anything happens and then just as fast as the contract went up it goes down just as fast if not quicker and so that's why when you take those momentum plays either in the morning or anything like that you want to be sure to take profit fast and make sure all your bases are covered. You wanna have your stop loss in order, raise your stop loss as you get into profit and um, have your take profit set because you'll get profit very quick and then you can be losing just as fast. So definitely keep a close eye on that when taking positions uh, into open. And then around 11.30, so two hours into market open, depending on what time zone you're in, Volume will start, will start to taper off, and that will take us into our next portion. So midday, uh, middle of the day is algo trading and waiting for news. So algo trading is basically all the big banks and everything like that. They have their algorithms trading for them. No real sense in the price, uh, price action of the stock, just trying to burn everyone else um, and make profit off of putting big money into something and then taking it out when they get a quick change in price. And then, yeah, waiting for news. It's basically the whole market or one ticker, depending on if you're watching just one ticker or you're waiting for the whole market to move. It's all based on news, whether it's someone from the government is talking that day or unemployment numbers are coming out. Um, even though, that, even though that'll be like pre-market typically, but any news could be coming out that day or, or witching or anything. So midday will pretty much be waiting for something to happen. It's a good time for beginners to place further out trades with less price action. So let's say you want to go a couple months out on a trade or anything of that sort. It would be a good time to look at the options chain, see where there's some good volume on contracts and you can get a, you can get a good fill. Um, maybe, some of the prices as prices have tapered off a little bit due to theta or lack of volatility on some weeklies, but definitely a good time to get your bearings. Um, 
you can get some food, take a break from the market, but also uh, realign your charts with the moves from the morning. That's definitely one smart thing. I tend to do that uh, if I'm not a, if I'm not in the office at work, but just getting in tune with the market and what's going on, and then maybe looking over some positions and seeing where you could enter. Because as we get into our next portion, which is end of day, or as we call power hour, because it will be from 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern time, or depending on where you live, it's the last hour of the trading day. And so volume and price action will start to pick up again. The day traders come back to maybe close out some positions they let run throughout the day, or uh, people are back in the market looking for swings into the following day, whether it's earnings plays, uh, that earnings either comes out after hours or earnings comes out the, the following day, then people will, will start to look for contracts, taking positions, small positions, big positions, whatever it is. Um, you want to watch closely for sharp reversals or breakouts. A lot of breakouts will tend to happen at um, the end of the day. Not sure why, but breakouts will, yeah, it's been stuck under resistance all day, a certain ticker, and then it finally breaks out of that resistance. It's happened multiple times on SPY, and then everyone in options chat is going going bonkers. But uh, yeah, it'll break out of that resistance and then close above it. And then going into the next day, you could take a position looking for the back uh, back test of that resistance as support and then a continuation and it could be a good um, good starter starting position at that end of day point and then maybe get full position on that back test the following day but same thing with reversals we could lose a support that we've been sitting at all day in the market and so I mean of course we've been in a bull bull market recently but there have been times where we lose a support at end of day and the whole market will not necessarily tank, but we lose a couple points on SPY or any other major market ticker. Um, and then the third point, not, not sure if this is true, but it's kind of like a little thing that uh, some people like to say, and it's definitely like, it definitely works some of the time is a uh, late day momentum could carry into the next day. So if the market is green at the end of day on Wednesday, then you could basically, if you're a skeptic, then you, you'll, you'll totally debunk this. But basically, if it's green at the end of day Wednesday, then you'll think, okay, this momentum will carry into Thursday. And that's pretty much all that is. But overview, open, price action is quick. Definitely big moves both ways. You want to make sure that your your stop losses and profit takes are in order. And maybe stay out of the market if you're newer to options for the first 15 minutes. Because the first 15 minutes will be crazy with all the orders getting filled. But after the first 15 minutes, then watch your positions closely for the following 45 minutes. And make sure you don't get burned because it's a great time for profit. But the, the smart people who manage their positions will make that profit. Midday, look over your positions, fine tune your charts, make sure everything's looking good to get ready for power hour. Moving into power hour, end of the day, make sure that anything you wanna swing, you're swinging and cut any positions that you're not comfortable with swinging, whether it's gonna be over a weekend or you're playing a weekly and it's getting close to that Friday expiration. And yeah, thanks for watching.